Hey guys, welcome to the Pussy Party Podcast, and the pussies are having a party, party today. So I am here with the amazing, the hot, the um, educated and intelligent Susan Bratton, hot trusted sex advisor to millions. You are getting my title what? down. I know I know the presidential pussies around here. Honey. You ain't gotta tell me. And today I keep looking looking because we're gonna have some fun. We are fun we are getting here. in touch with our inner child and we're playing with toys today. <laughs> So, um, you have emptied, emptied out your drawer. Jesus, do I have a lot of me. sex toys or what? And we're just, just going to let me play with them. And yeah. Tell me just, about them. You, I, what you can't see right here is that I got a ton of fun toys out for Jesse. Mm -hmm. And we have a little table here. Basically, we have a coffee table full of sex toys. Cool. And I'm just, she's just going to pull them up and we're going to talk about whichever ones look of interest to her. Right. So, before that, we have to cheers <laughs> our... These are little um, dolphin dolphin dildos. Suction. Suck. Yeah. <laughs> they suction for fuction. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So I get to just pick anything and then yeah, whatever you jump want. right into it? Well, let me ask you a question. Okay. How many sex toys do you have? Maybe like seven. Six or seven. Okay. So you've got a pretty good pleasure chest going on. Yeah, but I use... I have like my one or two you got your go-to's what need. are your go-to's my go-to's is like this really cheap small bullet yeah and clit suction uh-huh okay so let's start with those because this is my favorite little tiny bullet oh it's like a ring pop for your clitoris and it has a crown on it you see, it does it's by hot octopus it's called the digit give the finger to bad sex that's their logo and it's very easy to turn on you turn it on right here even with your giant mama fingernails you just hold this little thing for about well i can't see what i'm doing hang on let me pull it look off. i'm like i'm in there <laughs> here it is this is oh there's the on button yeah you just hold it like this for just like five seconds and it starts there it goes and then when you have it on it's pretty easy because this is just the uppy downy there right there mm -hmm. what i like about this is like my go-to travel bullet because it's tiny yet mighty yeah so let me go up yeah go all the way up Ooh. It's nice. It's it's more rumbly than buzzy, and I like it. And one of the things I like is if you hang it kind of off your finger and just let it dance on your clit, that feels so good. Yeah. And it's so nice and tiny and quiet. It's I like not, it's the not all like of it. Yeah. Has a really good feel. Doesn't it? Yeah, the silicone that they use is a really nice silicone. Mm. Yeah, that company I really like. Now, that's April and Amy. So it's April from Shameless Sex Podcast. I've introduced you to those, yes, yes, those yes. girls. They are the best. They have a... So April works for Hot Octopus. And they make these other two toys that I think are really cool. We have so many toys down here. I know. <laughs> this is one. This is such an intricate little bullet. Okay. Isn't it beautiful? This thing is a, basically a oh, male shit. masturbator. And uh, you, it has this oscillating plate down here that basically, even if you can't get erect, feel that. Stick your finger in that thing. I'll take that one for you and get it out of your way. Ooh. So if you can't gain an erection, can you can put your, and you can squeeze it around your penis. And to start you. Yeah. But I'll tell you what else is great about this thing. It is, a, I don't know where I put the remote. It's probably in here. Oh yeah, here's the remote. It's a Sibian for her. So he can, he can flip it up. She can get on top of him. And there's another vibrator up here that she can control. Oh. So it's a double vibrating, um, Massage. It's in her. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wee. It really, it really gives guys orgasms, even flaccid, which is nice for a lot of guys. And I love the crown, honey. That's just I know. Like, the crown is cute. Good branding. They're a UK-based company. And then this is their other product that's also for couples. And this one is a double vibrating cock ring. Ah. And it's really good for small to medium-sized men. If you're hung like a horse, this is not your product. But what you do is flaccid, you open it up. Check this out. It's beautifully made. Flaccid. Oh, okay. You put 
the jewels in here. You put balls, balls and, and D. Yep. And then this thing is her vibrator. And this thing is underneath, vibrating his underneath his balls, his perineal area, which is what is essentially his P spot, mm -hmm. which is really nice as well. So that is this vibrator. So wow. she can get on him and grind on him or what have you and get this clitoral stimulation while he's got all that blood trapped in his penis. Gotcha. And um, it helps maintain his erectile rigidity. So you said this is for the medium to... Medium to small. Small. And see, this is good because I have had a lot of talks off um, air where I'm like, what are we going to do for the little dick guys? Or what are we going to do for the average size guys? Yeah. Well, mainly the small dick guys. Because, yeah. you know, it's a lot of size queens out there or women who claim that they're size queens. But, you know, small to me, small. Medium guys, small, I think a lot of girls live there. But the yep. small guys, what are we, you know, going to give them to kind of get them in the game? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, me too. What else do you want to talk about? Ooh, let's switch it up. It's hard to choose. This bad boy. What do you think that's for? Um, It looks like it's for my ass. That is for your ass. That's for your G-spot. Oh. It's a G-spot toy. And what's nice about glass is that it's really easy to clean. Right. And glass gives you that nice, hard penetration you like on your G area where you want to get pressure on your G area. I've seen a lot of girls squirt on these glass bad boys on line. So yeah, that's why I picked that up. Exactly. This one is another one. If you're talking about G-Spot toys, this is my very favorite G-Spot toy in the world. Not a travel toy. <laughs> this is a home-based device. Wait, she just fell off her chair. The thing this is, so is going to have you doing some like, um, you're getting your pussy strong. You're doing <laughs> pussy ups. <laughs> I know you can break a windshield with that thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like you can break into your car. You can have G-spot orgasms. It's a multi-functional. Multi <laughs> what? Okay. This is prostate. This is G-spot. So this is her G-spot. That's his P-spot. Again, stainless steel, and it's for. Oh, yeah, gonna go together. Yeah. And it's sensation play. So you can warm it up or cool it down. Mm -hmm. And when you insert it, I personally like it warmed up in the sink mm -hmm. and then put inside me. And then what's nice is you're you're essentially, let me show you how you do it. Yeah, you kind of rock in and pull back, rock in and pull back, rock in and pull back. That's where what you're doing, if this is her vaginal canal, what you're doing is you're sliding it in and then you're using the pressure all along the roof of her the roof. vagina, that, yeah, which the... is where the G-spot or G-area is. Girl. I love that Look, I thing. I forgot again. It was heavy. Yeah. Ooh, we. I like how you got all these two first. Like, I know. it's not just for the ladies, not yeah, just for the guys. Right. But, you know, getting it on together. Right. And I always think that guys have been marginalized. We should look at this one. This is a guy tool. Um, guys have been marginalized a lot um, with regard to sex toys. But now there's tons of fabulous sex toys coming out for guys. Right. And, you know, it's, I think it's so crazy that that's the case when porn is more towards men. You uh -huh. know? But the toys are more towards women. This is called the Manta, and this is a penis masturbator. Oh, and, I um, never seen no shit like this. Yeah. And it looks, it's very vagina form. Very vaginal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you press that red button, and it'll start. I love how it says, fun. I know, fun Like, factory. are you confused on what's going to happen here? <laughs> press this button. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? And yeah. you dick in there. Yeah, and you just slide it up and down the shaft. And one of the things I like about that is that these are silicone toys, really high quality silicone toys. And um, you don't want to stick your penis inside some thing, you know, like a male masturbator that's all that squishy. Right, because how you going to keep it clean? Well, it, and it has phthalates and plasticizers in it, which are endocrine disruptors, which okay. means it disrupts your hormone production, which means it lowers your testosterone oh. as a guy. So if you're spending a lot of time putting your penis in a plasticky masturbator, you are lowering your testosterone. So those are, are like the pocket pussy type yes, that you're talking about. And exactly. So what is the 
It, it does what to your hormones? Say that again. Endocrine disruptor. What it does is it messes up the receptors on your testosterone receptors so that uh, it, your testosterone can't bind to the receptor and give you the testosterone. Wow. Yeah. That's what drinking out of plastic water bottles. That's why you, that's why it's, um, they, there's a new book out called Endocrination, which is all about how the plastics, the soaps we use, laundry soaps, the shampoos, the um, food that gets sprayed with all of the environmental toxins, yeah. the glyphosates, the herbicides, um, all these things are leading to men having lower testosterone, getting higher estrogen, becoming estrogenetic, estrogenic, I'm sorry. And so they're getting boobs and bellies and they're looking like women and they're acting like little old ladies because right. their testosterone's down because they're full of all these toxins from all these plastics and glyphosates and all this stuff and that's what happened it's wow. happening to women too it's ruining our estrogen as well damn so to fight that get one of these bad boys yeah. don't put <laughs> your dick in the pocket pussy put it yeah. in the manta. manta yeah the manta mm. yeah there you go i like how inventive you are with these I know, i'm trying to figure out how to make it work for me because you know I'm not messing with your dick right now. <laughs> right. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want to talk about it? I mean, every time I do, it's a little bit more therapeutic. So yeah. it's helping me through the process. Yeah. So those who don't know. She's like, I'm so sad. Right. Breaking news. Jessie. <laughs> the Pussy Party president has been celibate for like a week. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't even think a week is it like, I think a week is normal, you know? It's and you're like, not. I haven't had sex. And yesterday you're like, I, I'm celibate. And I said, well, how long has it been? And you said, six days. And I was like, what? That's just like, a, my break between girl, having please. sex. I, <laughs> I was like, no, this is serious. This is real deal. But it's the first seven days for, Aww. I don't know how long my journey is going to go, but there's supposed to be some self-discovery in there. Yeah. There's supposed to be um, some, uh, I better be fucking the shit out of my to-do list. Like getting <laughs> tasks done, 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 done. And have a financial orgasm or I'm going to like rip my hair out. But so far so good. I haven't even really been masturbating, but it's a problem. And I'm now you will. I'm about to make my game plan right now <laughs> exactly. to get it through. Right so. at the end of this, I want to know what your top three are that you would most like to try because you know you never know what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. All right, so pick some more things out of the pile. This is like the this is like pl plundering the pleasure I, chest. Well, see, in in my family, on Christmas, you know they, they stack everybody gifts. And then you get to go, and it's like, okay, which one are you gonna do now? Uh -huh, and I'm you feeling get to pick like it is pussy Christmas, uh -huh. even though this one <laughs> is not necessarily for me. But you know, we need some solutions for the small dick men. Yeah. Here we go. So, so break it down for me. I know All what right. it is, I, but I need. I know you have some well science behind so it. So that is a crappy plastic penis pump. And this is what's mostly sold in adult stores. And it doesn't have a gauge. You can't tell what the vacuum pressure is. The release valve's super shitty. It doesn't yeah, really hold. Yeah, it's like cheap plastic. Yeah. It's so cheap. So what I do is I tell guys, don't use that. What is use this? You this. got a valve on this thing? What is I this? I am so fancy, Jess. I know. Hold okay. one of these. Presidential, I told you. Uh, exactly. And then you just, oh, I don't have my glasses on. Wish me luck. You just push this thing in. Stick it in and you're done. You can do this with your ass closed. This playing. is the hand pump. And then you just, you shave around the base of your penis. Okay. And so you're doing your manscaping, which all of us appreciate anyway. Right, right, right. I like a groomed penis. Yeah, I like me a smooth, smooth dig at the smooth bottom. Smooth at the bottom. And nice shave balls always are nice for the mm -hmm. girls too. Um, and then you put your penis in there and it's flaccid and you pump it up it, and it gets suction so it creates a vacuum and it pulls your penis in it makes it really big and it fills it with blood and then you leave it on there for about 10 minutes and mm -hmm. then you take it off and then you get believe it or not even if you're a small penis man you take this pump and you just pop this off you masturbate yourself to an erection and then you go flaccid and you put this one on. Let's stick this one on. 
You got what it. You doing? Good job. You can even do that with your hottie mama fingernails. And then you pump in here with your balls and your penis inside this one. Girl. And that way it pulls on what's called the suspensory ligament of your penis. And that is the thing. That's like the little, the uh, ligament that holds your penis up when it's erect. Oh, okay. You can pull on that penis by pumping and it stretches it out. So you get both more length and girth. Girth, yes. Yeah, so you can pump up your penis. And any guy can pump up his penis. Penis pumping works. And if you have ED, you can pump and then roll a cock ring off onto the base of your cock. And you can have the blood in your penis for half an hour. You can leave that ring on. Mm. And then it gives you a really firm erection. You know, blood flow is everything. That's what it's all about, is the blood flow. And for women, too. A lot of people don't understand that women have as much erectile tissue up inside us as men do. Well, I know my clit gets big as hell, so I know I do. Well, speaking of that, you might enjoy pumping up your clit. I was gonna ask. Of course. So we thought, what do I have in here? So many things. This is a nipple pump. Great for inverted nipples or just engorging the nipples. And this is a clitoral pump. And it is crazy. My clit probably could fit up in here. Yeah. when you, I know. When you stick your clitoris in here and you pump it up, it looks like a little tiny penis. Right. It, it, you can really see did. the penis. Wow. And this is a head enlarger. So if you have a, a penis that kind of comes to a point, you mm-hmm. want the head the to vibrator be as big. Dick. Vibrator That's dick. what I call it. Yeah, this is a head enlarger. She can pop that thing off and pump up the head. And have a mushroom head. You can have a big old mushroom head. And then this. Shiitake dick. I do. <laughs> shiitake. That's for the whole pussy. That's the vulva pump. Oh, girl. That's I've nice. I've been seeing them on... Well, back in the day when Tumblr was fancy free, yeah, they used to it was like this. Lots and of pictures. Man, they would use this, and then they it looked so sensitive, and then they'd squirt everywhere. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, this might go on your list then. You never know. We're gonna see Girl. what you choose, Doctor Joel. Yep, yeah, Doctor Joel. This is called the Whopper Penis Pump. That's the only one I recommend. It's I've got hundreds of guys pumping now because guys were afraid. They're like, seriously. It's not going to blow up my dick. <laughs> right. You know, I'm not going to hurt my Because you see it in movies and stuff, and it's a big joke. And yeah. All but they that really stuff. work. It really works. You know what? Look, guys. I know some great guys out there. They are emotionally intelligent. They are sweet. They are um, investing in the pussy. All that stuff. <laughs> they eat good pussy, usually. But they don't got the big dick um, package. Maybe not even the energy because they just never felt it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I hate it because I had a guy, a guy. Oh my gosh, like I'm getting choked up. I had a guy once, and I I was so torn because he was such a great guy, mm-hmm. but just the, I couldn't. I was like, I know this is not the dick that God blessed me to be with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. how I am and how I ride. It just wasn't gonna work. But maybe this could have been a thing. Oh, yeah. You can get at least a 25% growth. And there are men who've been pumping for years who have giant penises from it. Like, they get it's, hooked it's, on it's it. Like, it feels good. Like exercising, too, right? It is. It's just like building a bicep. There's guys that go in the gym and they just get completely ripped and buffed and mm-hmm. all those things. And there's some guys that want that for their penis. And then there's just guys who got sick or they were in a sexless marriage for 10 years or 20 or 30 years or mm-hmm. whatever, and they have atrophy and they need to reverse the atrophy, you know, the, the caving in and the shrinkage. So the break shrinkage. down atrophy because I know a lot of people have never heard that before. Shrinkage. It's shrinkage. Basically, and the sucky thing about atrophy, genital atrophy, atrophy of your vulva or your vagina, but it's not really your vagina, it's everything, mm-hmm. atrophy of your penis, is that the tissue starts to diminish and get less plump and have less blood carrying capacity. Mm. You, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? So and it's some, an overtime thing. Yeah, over time. And so what you do when you use the pump, you're pulling the blood and pulling the blood and stretching that in the penis, the tunica albuginea, which is like the little shirt that holds all the pieces in. Right. And um, that uh, stretches and then more blood comes in and then it grows more blood vessels Mm -hmm. and then it has more volume. And it also does, just like working out, it does little tiny micro tears in the tissue that your body then heals, just like when you're pumping a bicep and you're you're tearing down the muscle, you take a rest day and the next day you're bigger. Right. That's how you penis pump. What? Penis pump with a purpose. We have a solution for the little dick men out there. And I even think about the women who are 
uh, you know, like my mother, aunts, grandmothers who are like, no, I don't like that. And I can't this and I can't achieve orgasm. Maybe they have Atrophy. some of that yeah. to where they just don't have the capacity, even if they may be active every so often to, like I said, have the blood actual like activators to yeah. engorgement getting fully engorged the less you have sex the less your pussy's engorged oh that's why my clit's big as hell exactly so i need to measure it <laughs> and see after my um you know some my celibacy i don't think tour after my celibacy oh, tour i'm gonna see how much week. it shrunk but it may not work if i have this bad boy right but this one's for the nipple right well you said your clit's so big you i mean it's pretty one. it's yeah mm-hmm Okay. All right, good. So that's pump, pumping it up. We've pumped it up. What else do you want to talk about? Okay. There's a Ooh, I think you're probably. I had just uncovered something. Don't I pull know. it out because then I'm going to keep it. What's I know. This? Well, this is let's... a go package. That is the mystery vibe crescendo. London, New York. Oh, it's fancy. It's posh. Okay, your prayers are personalized. It's for what I like to call the masturbatory aficionado. <laughs> okay. Um, Open it up. Okay. Look, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. This is like Christmas. I'm like, whew. There you go. Look how pretty. Girl. Isn't that nice? Little thing. You can bend this? Yeah, wait till you see it. There you go. Get that out, all right? This is too much. There you go. I'll take all that for you. I'm like the mom. I fold the wrapping paper for next year. Right, and I'm like, <laughs> Girl, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Susan. Yeah. Yeah. So I we, don't want to beat it too much. I can keep going. Yeah. Let me turn it on for you. I gotta find my glasses so I can see where the button is. I forget sometimes, and it's a little dark in the studio. You put your finger right. Well, that's what goes on your clit. So basically, what you're doing here is, and I hope I have this bad boy. There it goes. It has six motors. And you basically what you'd want to do is you could stick this inside your vagina and then this wraps around and these little lips go right on your on each side is of that your a clit. Bluetooth button? Yeah, it's Bluetooth. So it's got a phone app and you can literally make kind of like orchestrate music with the six motors and have all the motors do different things and like take you on a ride. You can just lie there and press your play button on your phone and this thing will just like woo do anything you want it to do you can program it to do anything you want it to do so if you're kind of a little bit of a little bit of a geek and uh, you like Bluetooth apps and you like like making music or doing things like that no she's masturbating do you think anyone will listening. notice me here on YouTube masturbating <laughs> um, so not to get all spiritual on y'all but y'all know how I do <laughs> um, you know, you put this where, you know, your, your root chakra lives. And I imagine if you could get it good enough, you'd be tickling the bottom of your solar plexus. And there are some like binary vibrations and frequencies that you can play like off of YouTube oh, or whatever. Yeah, like binaural. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So binaurals for your, what's a good B word? Um, for your baby parts, your, I don't know what you'd call it. I'm gonna come up with something, but you could put that in there and kind of get yourself cleared and raise your frequencies through this vibration of those actual like sounds. Yeah. Or like just put on like thunderstorm. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. And like thunder and lightning <laughs> and uh, get grounded through the pussy. Yeah. Me on. And this one wraps around a penis. You can oh. wrap it right around and grind on him. You can put it in the prostate. Um. You can put it up your anus. You can do all kinds of things with it. If I put this up my booty, I'm gonna pass out. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> 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 it's gone, it's gone. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I like that vibration. Yeah, and what's cool is because it's Bluetooth powered, you could actually just kind of like wear it in your pants and have your partner do stuff to you. Right. So that's also really fun. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
it's a mystery yes vibe, me. crescendo mystery vibe. That's what this I was one wondering is. what all this is. Very was. state of the art. Six independent dual programmable motors. Ultimate movability for right. sizing. Go have me DJ in my whole cootie cat, like you know. Ewe, 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 ewe. Man. <laughs> yeah, that one's a fun one. What else do you want to look at? Aww. That's the case that it comes in. It's got its own sexy little black case. Oh, what are these two little pockets for? The, the charger? I think they're for panty dropper. Oh. Don't you think the individual packages of panty dropper? Yes. That's what I See? think. Brilliant. This is yes. why she keeps me around, really. Of course. The only reason. Well, not the only, because you're pretty hot. So, you know, <laughs> easy yeah, on the eyes. I know. You keep me around because I'm hot. Oh, wait. What else do you want to talk about? Okay, what about this one? This oh, that's an one. interesting. Now, talk about a clit tickler. That's the Volta by Fun Factory, because I freaking love the Fun Factories, because it's high quality. Um... I really only try to talk about things that are just really body safe and mm -hmm. super high quality. Yeah, because the materials. plastics and then even some of the silicones are a little if sketch it to me smells, sometimes. Don't buy it. Mm, if that it means it's like having that off gassing, gassing, which means it has plasticizers that are endocrine disruptors. Girl, I need to go smell all of my toys when I get home just yeah. to make sure. Yeah. So one of the things I like about the Volta is that if you're making love and let's say you're lying on your back and your partner's maybe having sex with you off the edge of the bed and he's standing up or she's standing up with something we're about to show you soon, I'm Ooh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, because you might be off of dick, but I don't think you're off of pussy. No, I'm off of pussy too. Oh, you are. Okay, you got to manifest. I, I, look, I, yeah. She's got to manifest. She's got to focus. I, I give more energy to the pussy than I do the penis when I'm in the mode, so yeah. Nothing. Okay, good. Well, this one, what I like is it fits really nicely right down by your clitoris if his penis is inside you. You can kind of sneak it down because it kind of goes, uh, Yes, yeah, not in the way. It's like this, like, little, uh, Because I'm not going to lie, when you have something like this. Yeah. Oh, this right. one looks nice, too. I cannot wait to try that. Um, This is, like, they're fighting, you know, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and that with that, it's kind of like a motorboat for your clitoris. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm trying to take my eyes off of it. But <laughs> it's not working. It feels good. I like it. Mm. And yep. what's this one called? This is called the Volta, and it comes in cute colors too. But I don't know. There's something very badass around black for me. I like yeah. a black sex it's toy. It's because you like all of your pussy toys to posh pussy toys. I like posh. I'm all mm -hmm. about the posh. Now yeah, this one, I haven't tried this yet. I'd Fun Factory just sent this to me. I called them and I said, "Jesse's coming," and I want to talk. I want to talk literally. about. <laughs> I, I bet she will. Um, <laughs> and uh, I want to talk about thrust your thrusters with her, your pulsators with her. They have a whole series at Fun Factory called the Stronic G series of pulsators. And basically, they're fucky-fucky machines. So the ones that I have seen look honestly a little, little tacky because they've got like the ridges right here and you could tell it's like yeah it's an old cheapy mechanical thing yeah extends this so. one's like a weight that vibrates back and forth oh you see what i mean it's like a shake weight yeah it's a shake weight i think that's Let the technology here, here yeah yeah i know i really like this one what i like about this one is yeah see it goes in, so the thing is <laughs> my if, bicep is working yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. This is a whole new thing we can invent. Just thruster uh, workouts. Um, Shake weight needs to just like make another line. For women who don't get enough intercourse, mm -hmm. this is a really good tool. Or for women who really oh. like that filling feeling of be ha having something inside them and maybe also using vibration. Right. So that one is a internal with the ridges really nice for the g-spot imagine how nice that is on the g-spot right and they stay in and you can grip them inside and you can kind of almost do kegel thing. them if you want to and uh they are thrusters and they increase vaginal lubrication they increase arousal yes so they make women feel more desire so like some woman who says you know 
my libido's flatlined. I don't know what to do. I haven't had sex in 10 years. Oh, dang. You know, this is a really great thing for a woman like that or mm-hmm. a woman who's married to someone who maybe has permanent erectile dysfunction. Mm-hmm. Though hardly any erectile dysfunction is permanent these days now that there's gains wave. Right. That's that um, penile rejuvenation company that does the sound waves on the penis to knock out all the plaque. Girl, what? So it's plaque on the penis. That's why it's... Well, there's lots of reasons, but the most common things are something called venous leak, which is when the endothelial, so your penis and your and your vulva, they you have this some you have this tissue called endothelial tissue, smooth muscle tissue. Okay. The blood flows into the penis, and then the tissue needs to be smooth enough and supple enough to lock and hold the blood in. Gotcha. But when it flows back out and a guy gets bendy and he can't keep his heart on, that's mm-hmm. usually venous leak. And that can be fixed because the there, there gets like this fibrous stuff in their penis as well and plaque in the in the blood vessels goes in there and gets cloggy. And uh, your penis veins are the lat the end of the line mm-hmm. and you need a lot of blood pressure to pump the blood in there mm-hmm. so a guy that's got a lot of plaque all over his body and he's kind of fat and he has heart disease right so he's his not health pumping. is essential it is it all go together blood in there so what the gains wave does is it knocks off the plaque and it does micro damage that stimulates new growth new blood vessels new everything new nerves and so you feel more a lot of guys lose sensation as they age right yeah so you look this is revolutionary now it's amazing it really is i know so I'm gonna I'm I can't wait to try this one. Okay, I'm yes. gonna masturbate with this ASAP because what I like is that this feel the motor on that. Oh, and then you've got this one too, right? It kind of is softer, mm-hmm. but this one's a clip super vibrator. aggressive. Yeah, and what I like about it is that this one actually has a like this whale tail thing it gets not only the clitoral hood and the clitoral shaft it gets the labia Mm -hmm. and you and i both have nice long labia yeah i got some meat curtains for that i got meat (laughs) curtains too and i like my meat curtains and i like the sensitivity of them and this stimulates both the legs of the clit as well as and while it while it goes back and forth inside so you see how hard that one's going like with the thing in it I don't need, it's not even on. And there you could still feel, like if you just had some the natural weight. movement. Yeah. Some sensation in there. Yeah. So it, this stuff is strong. Yeah, they do a good job. These are German motors. This is made in Bremen, oh, Germany. But Volkswagen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Those things are durable. They're, They're so really good. durable and safe. Yep. Wow. Now there's another one. Try, pick that up. That is also, that has weights in it too. You see what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't vibrate, but as you're moving your body, those little internal balls are dingling inside your butt. See, the last time I had, well, not something like this. This is double, double, double trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the last time I had one in, okay, first of all, yeah, my butt plug um, journey I was a wimp when I first started. I'm not going to lie. Like well, I everybody had, is. Well, I had been doing anal for a while yeah. with this one gentleman. You know who you are, and thank you. Um, <laughs> so it's not like I hadn't had like the width and the girth and all that stuff. And um, I got my first blood plug, and I went like super small. Like, yeah. Really, I wimped out. And so like I was doing my thing. And I mean, by this time, I was really starting to be conscious of like, the anal kegels. I don't know if that's called something different. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I like had an orgasm, a vaginal orgasm. Yeah. And the damn butt plug just whoop, like shot, shot right out. out. Uh-huh. It's too small for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not anymore. But <laughs> Do you ever have anybody stimulate the bottom of your vaginal canal or go up inside your butt and stimulate the top part? So not inside my butt, but I have had a lot of anal sensation from the inside yeah. on the bottom. And sometimes... And depending on like kind of how far back in and down, it, the sensation is, it, I can't place it. Mm-hmm. Like it's a little, it's gratifying. It's, deep. it's yes, but it's like on the um, line of arousal and then like the sensation to make me poo. 
Uh huh. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I do. So I don't know in my mind. Yeah. It's a mind fuck. Yeah. You know. So, yeah, yeah. You don't. You should definitely not do that when you have to poo. It's a it's a post pooing <laughs> procedure. <laughs> Yes. But what I like about the bottom of the vaginal canal, and especially if you had something like this, uh, this is called a booty ball from Fun Factory. Okay. Um, if you um, stuck this, and there's a single booty ball and there's a double booty ball. I like the double booty ball. And it's got a nice wide flange, so it's not going to get sucked in. Which right. is really what you, I mean, if it shoots Whoa. out, that's one thing. But if it gets sucked in, well, that's a trip to yeah, the hospital. Yeah, so I had the, yeah, <laughs> this bullet one time, but... The guy is with, he's military, so he jumped in there real quick. <laughs> Saved my ass. <laughs> Literally. And I was fine. But he put it in there, so shit. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea to put something <laughs> without a flange in there. That was actually a um, rookie move. But, in a, you know, well, I had, in to a... be fair, I had no control because I had on the submission mask, so I couldn't see anything. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. Yeah. <laughs> see? Uh, anyways. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> So you ha- you like the double? <laughs> well, I like the fact that it's not a vibrator, but it has that movement that happens kind of randomly. So right. one it's of the heavy. things about your nervous system is that it likes a lot of variety. Like it doesn't want to be touched the same exact thing over and over. It mm-hmm. wants to be touched in a lot of different ways and a lot of different pressures and techniques. And um, that is kind of what this booty ball thing does. It, right. it You can't it's second random. guess it. It's random. So you can't like... You yeah. have no brace yourself. Yeah, and so at any moment, that randomness could just send you right over to another climax gotcha. because you don't know what's, when it's going to creep up on you. Okay, what about this one? They look kind of similar, but they not. are now. That's really a prostate massager. So oh. men should enjoy P spot orgasms and blended orgasms, masturbating as well as massaging the prostate, either with vibrators or without. Mm-hmm. And so they could have a butt plug like the B balls, or they could use something like this, which is actually a massage tool that he can stimulate his own prostate or his partner can stimulate his prostate at, yep, exactly. Right up in there. I got the technique, y'all. You do. Mm. Yep. Okay. What else you got? Jeez. Look, we still haven't gotten to the bottom of the table. I know. What's hidden in here? I don't know. Who knows? I right. never know what's in anything. Take it out. Okay. It's Christmas for you. Oh, there you go. That's a little Lilo. Oh, Lilo. Yeah, that's a little Lilo. Okay. It's a G-spot uh, vibrator. So you just... Yeah, you just stick it in and pull back. Yep. But I like this one better. This one... Now feel the difference. So that's the thruster with the G-Spot tool on it. And I like that. I like that a lot better. Especially if you're a person who really enjoys G-Spot pleasuring. Right. Which really, if you don't, you just haven't had it good yet. That's what I always say. Somebody says to me, I don't like oral sex. I'm like, "Mm, well, maybe if you actually had good oral sex, (laughs) you might like it. (laughs) You just haven't had that yet because it feels darn good. No, I can't, you can't overcome, you know, people's shame or whatever, but, um, when they're so sure, it's like, oh honey, keep living. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. This one is aggressive. Yeah, that's the G-Spotter. That's called the Stronic G. And that one um, really can do a nice job on your G-Spot for you. <laughs> this reminds me like a woman's like, I just got so many walls built up. It's like, oh, well. Yes. We're going to bust those down. Yes. You have to go And you just easy. put that in there yeah. and like let go. You Don't even worry go. about it. You can let go. That's good because I ain't allowing my arm. You're lazy. I heard you say you're lazy. Yeah, I'm a lazy self-lay. <laughs> Super lazy self-lay. Ride dick for days and be like, ugh. My hand. My, uh. Okay, this one is simple. Yep, that's a prostate massager. And that one, all you do is zoop, turn the little bottom and it and it vibrates. And it's got a nice little buzz. It's a nice plastic. You can get it right in there. Now, it might not be curved perfect. It won't smell. It might not be per- curved perfectly for every man. But for right. the guy who's like right inside, there's his prostate. That's a nice one for him. And it's got a nice handle. Right. Most guys, well, I have experience. It's not that far. It's, it's right not. There. It's right in. Yeah, it's like the G spot. It's right in the entrance. Just a, it's like if you go usually too much, you say you it's it. the first knuckle in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just right in there. Okay, my favorite. Yeah, I never had it, but I had one like it. Yeah, the womanizer. womanizer. There you go. That's the, your favorite. The kind that you know, everyone was like, oh, I don't want no womanizer man, and then there you go, falling for it. <laughs> so yeah, this is not like the one I have. What's it like compared to the one you it's have? It's a little penguin. 
It's small. Uh, small. It's got a bow, so he's a gentleman. I think you might need this one for the big, giant clit you have. You know, I am a big girl. I'm a petite woman, but <laughs> that clit is, is big. Tell me if it feels the same as yours. I mean, the mouth is smaller, so it's more... That's interesting. The other one is like... Squoval. More wide open? It's squoval. Oh, squoval, like square oval? Yeah, square, and it's kind of rounded around the edges. Uh-huh. What do you think? Do you like that one better, or do you like the one you have better? I'll have to tell you after this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder as far as, like, angling and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the thing about sex toys. Body dynamics play a huge role. Um, you know, almost anything is either going to be too big or too small. You just have to really Goldilocks it. Right. Ooh, we. I'm sure that I would not complain. And it's my <laughs> colors. I like the gold. I like all of that. Um, yeah. Is that easy to take off to clean? Because I feel like I get... Because this makes me squirt, so it's like this whole thing is... Uh-huh. I'm not sure. It's not a product I know a lot about. You don't do the clit suction too often? I never use that. Really? Why? Is I used it once thing? and I was like, meh. No. Yeah. I like a vibe right on my clit. Mm-hmm. Not the, like, cover. Yeah. yeah. I like almost like a pressure down on it and slightly off the side. Mm -hmm. Where I have probably the most nerve endings or something. Ooh, this is like back when we had cordless phones. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's your princess phone. <laughs> plus size. It says plus size. So okay, maybe, is there a smaller one, maybe? There must be. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen one that was, like, rose gold. Uh-huh, you'd like that. That would be perfect for you. You need a rose gold pax. You need a rose gold womanizer. You've got your list going. You've got your little fucking list. I know, list. I need to make a little wish list. Yeah. Somebody oh Santa Claus so. me. Womanizer. Okay. What um, else do you want to look at? Gosh. What else we got here? What is this? I honey? was waiting for you to discover it. It's called the Share Vibe by Fun Factory, and it is a double-ended dildo with a vibrator that requires no harness. You can just wear it inside your vagina, and you got a dick. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take hold it on, out. Let me get it out for you. Yeah. I don't want you to mess up those beautiful nails. I'm of yours, trying to. So. Imagine. This in my mind. Okay. Well. I got some um, diagrams. <laughs> No, but it, you'll get it in just a second. So you put this up inside you. This is what you clamp down on, right? And then you're like this, and this thing is down here, and this is what you dive in with right here. Oh, shit. See what I mean? So explain it now in front of the camera, and there's the vibe, and it's a nice big bullet, and it transfers the um, vibe, to, the vibe both. to the end in both. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this goes into Lady A. Yes. And then you got a dig. Yeah. And this is for your G spot. It vibrates your G spot, your clitoris. See what I mean? This is your G spot and clitoris. That's your clit vibe right there. And then Lady B, who knows how to ride that dig like a soldier, is right there on top. And you're both getting off and getting vibed at the same time and, fill, and filled up at the same time yes. so it's excellent for lesbian sex so i have never been strapped up before it's on my list oh my fucking list now by strapped up do you mean wear a strap on be made love to by someone wearing a strap on or love. be or <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what i want her to do to me with that on <laughs> Um, I have never put a strap on, on, mm -hmm. but when I say get strapped up, I mean someone put a strap on and fuck the shit out of me. Okay. Got it. Till I holler. Okay. Like, please. Uh -huh. Like, maybe say please. Stop. Uh huh. Ooh, that's good. Um, but I mean, I guess I see more potential in my life with this bad boy. Yeah. Man. I think it might be a bad girl. Yeah. I think it might be a very bad girl. And those are the best ones. Damn. <laughs> hmm. I love this product. 
it's so much better than having to wear, you know, like a strap on kind of a thing around you. And, and you'd be like, hold on, baby, let me put my dick on. And then exactly. Go. It's much closer. This one is like a little sexier. Like, hey, baby, yeah. friend, you could do this to me. Yeah. And then whenever you get done with that. Yeah. Come, come, come it, to mommy. And of course it's great for pegging. Yes. So there's so many men that love to have anal pleasure with their wife. They're straight. They like the feeling of it. They like their prostate stimulated. Mm -hmm. They like the full feeling. And um, it's a nice size. It's not too big. And it's, it's not, not too, too small. Thick. Don't, didn't they do a great job mm -hmm. on the side? And don't you feel like you could really get a grip on that thing with your right. vagina? And it's even kind of G-spotty. Yeah. For sure, on both sides. Yeah, there you go. That's like they true. literally took a mold of the vagina. They and really know what they're doing. Mm. And they test things. They make them. So they have a factory. You need some testers. They need testers all the Holla time. Holla at your girl. Yeah. And I think they need to make one... That's doggy style. So like flip this. Uh-huh. Like that. Okay. And then make this maybe yeah. have a little bit more uh -huh. flexibility. Yeah, that makes that sense. That way I can put it in me and hit that ass from the back. There you go. See? I'm, I need to be in R&D. There you go. <laughs> I think you already just are in R&D. Okay. So many toys. Isn't it fun? It's interesting. It's amazing, isn't it? So this one's smart ball? Why is it so smart? It's the um, the same technology as, as the booty ball. It's just the single, but it's also a Kegel. So it's not an anal plug, but it's the same technology that is Kegel. So you oh. can put that up inside you and you can play with it with your vaginal muscles. Jump up and down on the little mini um, um, trampoline. Richard Simmons yeah. trampolines. <laughs> exactly. You can take it out of there if you want to. Uh -huh. Yeah. Kegels are good. Filling your yoni up with yoni eggs, with I'm Kegels. Tear this. Oh, yeah. Let me just get nails. it for you. Yeah, no problem. And I like the strap because sometimes yeah, you don't with, be the giggles, with the giggles, especially with your fingernails, right. you got to be careful. Your tissue's delicate. Yeah. And see how nice and fat that is. Mm -hmm. I like how fat it is too. It's you don't feel like you're gonna pop it right out if you sneeze or something. Right. Because you know? I I will spit it right on out. Yeah. I like this. So this reminds me. I feel like I could mm -hmm. go to my cheerleader days, pop this in my pussy, do some toe touches. <laughs> Some spread eagles. Right, your little gymnastics. And self. really test them kegels, okay, honey? <laughs> yes. Okay. Did that we go through the, everything? Well, we've got this. This is cute. This is the Patchy Paul. That's one of the most favorite ones. And this is my current favorite. Okay, this is my favorite vibrator right now, though you notice I hardly wouldn't even let you touch this right, thing. Right, I Because I'm like, so that's <laughs> mine. I want this one. This one is the one I have to have. I know, but this you, is my you, toy. You got dick, too, every night. So I, I was like, come on now. I do, but I'm a greedy, greedy You're a pleasure whore. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this one, oops, I got my little hairs on there. This one is the Lady Buy because it has two motors on it. Okay. And um, what I like about it is that it's um, that nice flat clit, legs, shaft, glands, all that mm -hmm. labia, it's everything, fat. fat. And this got a nice jink right up there with a nice little G bump. But it's not this giant long thing. Like if you want a thruster, get a thruster. Mm -hmm. You know, this is good. This is the thrusting thing. But most women, they don't necessarily want the thrusting thing. They want just a full feeling and that clitoral stimulation. So right. this is a nice size. It doesn't weigh very much. I haven't found one um, like penetration and clit that fits, my, like it, it doesn't hit it right or it's too high, yeah. too low or whatever. Uh -huh. Or it just doesn't. Like, I can put it in, but it how it's angled, it doesn't yeah. even touch my clip. Right. So, you so know, I'm in the market. One of these might be good for you. Yeah, that one. You never one, know. That could be a good thing. Because I know even I won't, you ain't going to let me no, have at that no, one. Definitely not. She's never going to. Look at this. This it's is like, mine. You. <laughs> <laughs> I started it, but I could not finish it. Okay, so this one is very... That is Patchy Paul. And that's like their all-time... People won't let them stop making that. If they discontinue it, this is a fun factory one. Have and you can right. see it's super long, and then it goes right up to the cervix. Yeah, so... If you like cervical pleasure, and you have a big, long vagina, <laughs> you, which apparently you do. I know, it's I know, I do. No, mine's not that long. I bet mine But is. I've been challenged. Yeah, because I've Isn't had... Isn't that nice? 
Yeah, and it has a cute little face. Turn it around and look at its little eyes. Oh, hi, I'm Patchy oh Paul. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to give you orgasms. <laughs> Just love it's it. So How can you say cute. no to this face? You can't say no to Patchy Paul. Patchy Paul wants to give you pleasure. You know, maybe my <laughs> vagina is, I don't know. You know, it's, it's. Well, it accordions as you get turned on. Yeah, because the dick that I had in my life was. That's got, what that is, eight inches, isn't it? Yeah, That's and be then batter. Inches. It's nice. So. So if you're a girl that likes a me. deep, penetrative, pleasuring vibrator. Consider the Patchy Paul. Okay. Isn't that so funny? All right, Paul, you know. He's cute, huh? Yeah, I'm, look, you might have to be the exception right now. <laughs> no man except for Patchy Paul. Well, you'll just do it for science. Right. That's this what is it is. for um, just journalism. Just doing it for science. Right. Uh, All in the name of the purpose. Pussy Party Podcast. Right. Well, I do it for y'all. Only for science. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> So I think that's like mostly everything. There's a, this is a nice, very inexpensive. It's kind of like that prostate massager, but it's a G-spot massager. Mm -hmm. This one's B Swish. I always like to have luxury and budget items. This is a budget item. Okay. High quality made. Super simple to use. I don't know about you, but I need really simple sex toys. Like mm -hmm. if I'm turned on, I'm not thinking about where the buttons are. Yeah, that's true. So what I like about this is it's just on the bottom. It's easy to locate. And it's very nice. And I'll tell you something, that feels good on the G-spot. Mm -hmm. So you get the G-spot stimulation with the um, wonderful um, vibration. Yeah, and that's pretty true. And it's like 35 bucks. So, hella deal, I'm telling you. I always deal. try to think, what would I tell my 20, you know, 19 and 20 year old self? Because I remember getting a vibrator. Yeah. It was super plastic. It was super hard. Mm -hmm. um, I they wanted used to, to be. say it had a curve, kind of like Paul did. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, it's like this hard plastic, and um, I maybe used it once or twice, and I really didn't ever use it for how it was made. I think a lot of us do that. Mm -hmm. We get certain vibrators and we use it not in the way that like what it's made for. Yeah, like I use a penetration vibrator to. You know, just do clit stimulation. Yeah. Or, like, I'll use the strap-on, not strap-on, suction yeah, uh -huh, dildo uh -huh. to just fuck myself with. Oh, uh, how sometimes. do you do that? that be, so, that's the interesting <laughs> thing. Tell me how you do it because, like, where are you? Are you on a wall? Are I'm laying down, shower? legs cocked all the way open, knees up, and I had a bullet on my clit. Yeah. And then... Where's this suction to? It's not suction to nothing. I'm just... Oh, you're just using it. Okay. Yeah, no, I wonder I can... how you would do it with the suction. So you just like a dildo inside you, a bullet Right, but I was clip. using... Like what I'm saying. I was using the wrong stuff uh -huh. for... And I think just because what I was getting in that yeah. wasn't it. It just wasn't it. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't recognize as many options. And when I do go to the sex store, mm -hmm. I am in there for a while. I like to get like some consultations. Yeah, they knew what they're um, doing. But still, I'm still like, okay, this one, that one. And then the ones that I like are always incredibly expensive. Well, it's worth the money. And if um, they fit you. Now that I'm older, mm -hmm. I would invest in it for yeah. sure. Yeah. What? I'm invested in my health. I'm invested in, you know, things for my finances. I'm going to invest in my pussy. But when I was younger, I mean, that was too much for mm -hmm. me. So I guess where would you suggest for like, the college age girl who is, you know, sometimes we don't recognize um, what we could do with our pussies and we start to figure it out in college. Yeah, I'd, so. say, I'd say the lady buy. I just think the lady buy of all of the toys, it gives you a filling feeling without being overly penetrative. It has the nice flat pad for the clitoral, the entire clitoral structure. It's small, right. which is nice. When you're when you're 20, your vagina's smaller. Mm -hmm. It gets bigger as you get older. <laughs> Vacuous when you're older. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, I think this is just a really nice product. This um, late, and it's the two motors. Right. I just really like that. I can't think of anything. I don't think I'd offer a girl a thruster. I personally, the womanizer doesn't do enough for me it's a little mm -hmm. i don't know what it is i don't know well you have great um oral sex partners I so really maybe do. you know yeah it's hard it, to compete. like me i like 
the clit stuff because I have amazing thruster. Mm -hmm. Well, I have. <sighs> okay, anyways, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I keep coming back quicker. But so for me, the clit is great in my own because it's not, you know, what I get all the time. Yeah. And I feel like I want to try this though because I have not had yeah, this. Yeah, you're going to so try I'm that not, thruster? Is not that the one? The thruster yet. Okay. Mm, I think I want Which one are you going to try? You're going to try this. Patchy Paul? You're going to try the penis? Oh, there's the penis shaped one. I forget the name of that. That's also a Stronic G thruster from Fun mm -hmm. Factor. I think yeah. I want. You like the penis. Too, yeah. Too bad they didn't get that one in black. I know, right? But I, you know, I came in the game with pink penis, so I'm not a stranger. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do this one. But, I mean, the thrusting that I get is on a whole other scale. So it's like, ain't nothing like the real thing, mm -hmm. you know? But if but you're not getting But there's a lot that, that are close. So I'm yeah. going to try it, girl. Mm-hmm. So that's your favorite. All right. Well, there we go. The one I don't know the name of, but the penis-shaped mm -hmm. pulsator. Mm -hmm. The penis pulsator from Fun Factory. Yes. That's the one you like. So, You're going to get um, thrusted, deeply thrusted. Yes. Yes. And yes. Thanks, Fun Factory. And Dr. Joel Kaplan and Hot Octopus and Womanizer and Mystery Vibe from... Crescendo from Mystery Vibe and B Swish and uh, Enjoy Pure One. We got those down here. Yes, them heavy dads. Enjoy Pure One. This one's, I think, called the mm, something kitty. I don't know, but glass is pretty easy to find. And this is budget too. Right. This is hella expensive. This is like 80 bucks. This is like 20 bucks. Oh, okay. I see. But mm, this is so nice. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. Get well, on this thing. Um, I think that I've had. A lot of fun, yes. but I have learned a lot going mm -hmm. through your whole drawer of toys. And I feel like this is like skimming the surface that you got more than this. Well, I'm still learning. I'm really on a big learning curve right now mm -hmm. to understand what the highest quality brands are with the best manufacturing, the best customer service, the best testing. Because if I'm going to be talking about things, I really want to make sure that people, if they have any questions or issues, have a really good experience with the company. Right. And almost all sex toys are made in China and distributed by companies that have no telephone nor do they ever answer anything that you request right so it's a it's important to you know one of the things that i learned from uh kristen at fun factory she said how many pairs of shoes do you have and i was like a lot, mm -hmm. not, do I have to say? And she said, well, just think about that and then how many sex toys you have. You need different sex toys for different things and what you want to do is build up those quality products that it's like your pair of black pumps and your little black dress right, your or whatever. Wedge. You got your different kinds, your yeah. flats, your sexy flats. Yeah, so yeah. people don't think anything is spending 120 bucks on a pair of shoes. Right. I mean, some people do, of course. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be so cavalier about people's budgets, but generally... A right, fair number of people will spend 80 to 120 dollars on a pair of shoes that they mm -hmm. only wear once in a while. So just investing in high quality toys, it's obviously better for your body and they work better, they feel better, the motors are nicer, the silicone is nicer, they're right. washable and clean upable and you know, there's I'm so definitely to for it. the motors being better because nothing yeah. is worse than being almost there, yeah. especially in the battery days. Is yeah. people still have battery yeah. operated, and mm -hmm. you're like, ah, oh, where do I have more? Yeah, D batteries. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and who wants to carry that around? So, yeah, I like the rechargeable. Uh, yeah, we have upgraded all the too. technology, and then eventually, yeah. this will work on your Samsung. <laughs> charging back <laughs> right that's what they you said just, you said i can see you'd have to get one of you'd have to get like a tabletop charger and then you have to lay down all your sex toys on it so they all kept they need charging. to make a rechargeable <laughs> um tablecloth i like that that's yeah. a good idea actually before you got that. here i had to i had to i had to make sure all these were vibrate uh, that all these were charged up so i had like a little assembly line and i was <laughs> i was charging them up just to make sure because i knew i wanted if you the to, walls could talk honey. i knew i wanted you to get <laughs> to feet get a feel for them too because yes. when you hear the motors they're so quiet so have you written anything around um vibrators or masturbating or what have you well, I just did a 30-day masturbation challenge, Ooh. and I started writing about that. I did a YouTube video on that that's coming out really soon, probably by the time this video comes out. Okay. And I also did how to. I did a healthy sex toys for couples with Amy and April. We got a sex swing, and we brought a bunch of toys in, and we talked about things. I did did y'all get in the swing? 
Oh yeah, of course we did. <laughs> of course we did. Tim and my 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 video guy Lloyd built the sex swing structure in the green screen studio for Ciao. us to get in, and then we shot that video, and then they broke it down, and we shot the rest of the videos. Like these guys are the best. They be working. They be serving. I, I love it. Okay, they know how to keep so the pussy cute. happy. And I did G spot sex toys with Serene Martinez. She's a Adorable. My God, that woman is cute. Mm. And uh, she's a sex toy, 20 year sex toy buyer. And she's the one that taught me all about how she important told you it the is sex toy game. to um, use healthy sex toys. And um, what else have I done? I don't know. Lots of them now. And oh my God, I've done so many penis pump videos. I think I've done, I bet I've done close to 20 videos. I mean, about that's kind of uncharted pumps. territory. A lot of people yeah. are not making it regular and okay and even educational to pump the penis. Well, it used to be that people didn't talk about vibrators and here we are doing a podcast and a video about it. Right. Toy time. Yeah. So it's just a matter of time and I want to be one of the people that brings it out of the closet, out of the dark and into the light because it's healthy for right. a man to pump his penis. Definitely. And if it, and it feels good and it keeps his volume and his blood flow. It's it's a we'll help him live tool. longer. It definitely will. Well, and you know, I don't know if you know this, but penis pumps are FDA approved for erectile dysfunction. Mm. So FDA is never going to improve something for penis enlargement because that's not a problem. That's right. just it's that's not health related. Really. It's not health related. Really, it's like a luxury thing. It's just a, someone's desire to mm -hmm. have more penile volume. I like that word, penile volume. Doesn't right. that sound good? Mm. But. Um, but penis pumps are FDA approved for reversing ED. So they are a medical device. Right. Hmm. But the problem is most people have only gone to adult stores and they've only looked at that crappy stuff we showed, right? You know, this junk. And they're like, well, I don't yeah. know. Now, if a guy knew that he could go to DeWalt and add the vacuum erection devices, the Whopper I showed you, if you if Which DeWalt is a good put idea, that DeWalt. into their, you <laughs> their know, list. their yeah. little list of things. You drill your impact would, wrench and your... Penis, penis pump, pump, but they're going to call it um, penile uh, volumator. Yes, penile volumator. Yes. There you go. All of these companies need to call me with all of these yes. bajillion dollar ideas exactly. we have spit out. But um, I like that word too because when a man gets a little too much in his tone with me, I'm going to say, <laughs> turn down your penile volume, okay? Because <laughs> you're tripping right now. Well, thank you. I'm going to get my drink too. Thank you for mm. showing me a little bit. Cheers. Cheers. For uh, letting me into your drawer, um, Thank you. I'm going to take this. Yep, that's the one right now. Yeah, and I will let y'all know. Great. I guess on Instagram or something. Yeah. How it's working and if it, it can help me make it through my celibacy journey. Ooh oh, and she's a little sad about that. Don't forget. <laughs> I'm going through all the stages of grief, but I'm getting there. So tell the people. Where they yeah. can find you. And then you've always got like a little free gift or something for them to get like yes, in your um, so ebooks and stuff. So tell them about it. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, you can find me at betterlover.com. That's the my YouTube channel where I get dressed up in crazy lingerie and teach sexy stuff. Right. Who doesn't um, love that? Everybody loves that. Mm -hmm. Except for the like three guys who are like, I, I couldn't stop looking at her boobs and I had no idea what she said. And I'm like, okay. Sounds like a personal are you, problem. Is, and turn you down your penile volume. <laughs> 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 Shit. And let's see. I have a lot of... Um, a lot of really good sex technique books. I've got a G-Spot toy guide. Yes. I've got seven stimulating sex positions. I've got Come Full Circle, the 360 degree double helix sex position. You basically swirl around each other without disengaging. Oh, Penis oh, yes. in vagina gymnast. You know, you're a little spinner. So I know exactly. Like right That's one of my signature alley. moves. Don't be signature telling people. Move. My sig yes, because Tyra said all girls should have a signature pose and a signature walk. And I think as the Pussy Party president, you need to have a signature sex position and the signature like trick, something that don't got a name, yeah. that only you <laughs> did. All presidential pussies has to have that in their arsenal. And when he think he got you, yeah, you whip out that signature position yeah. that you know you're going to kill it. And then if that don't work, if you get you one that's a good challenge, which them the ones we love that make us step our pussy game up, you hit them with that trick that don't even got a name he gonna have to like 
you know, go into his boy, but she had me like this, you know, and all of that in the barbershop, having them tripping. That is going to be what gets them. So I'm it. going to see if this can um, help me while I'm not doing that. <laughs> there you go. But well, um, I'll, I'll give you my come full circle and yes. you can read it and you can see if you like the position and if, if it sounds fun to you. Yeah. It's, il it's illustrated because everybody's like, okay. I don't know what you're saying here. I was like, I mean to make you this need some pictures. pictures. So yeah. I had it custom illustrated. I can, I can spin illustrated. around and keep the dick still inside. I call it the sit and spin. Sit and spin. But this one is actually where you start out in missionary. He's above you. And then you um, you end up flipping over on top of him. You actually, oh, you start oh, on the it's bottom like and this. end on the top. Yes. It's pretty. In we no. going here with the dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about like these. You were. And it's not really like this. helicoptering. It's on. actually this. Oh, we're oh we're we're yeah we're rolling uh, swirling around. You're rolling over each other. You're exa and you're not coming apart. You're mm -hmm. staying together. So it's like leg up and then over and then around. So the dick is gonna go all the yes. way. Yes. Yes, mm, mm, or as mm. he would think, that pussy's going to go all the way. Right. Yeah. Okay, and they can find this, um, access to this yeah. technique. Yeah. See, she like that auntie that will come pick you up from your mom's house, you know, take you to the mall, buy you some cute, let you get the good, you know, food at the food court. Yes. She got all the tricks, and you she bet. is the funnest. So, um, <laughs> thank you so much. My pleasure. Um, go to Have Better Sex. Betterlover.com. Oh, Betterlover.com. Yep. And then for that ebook. Come full circle. Come full circle. Wow. Boom. Well, uh, Pussy Party, hopefully you guys had fun. Penises, there was tons of stuff here for you too. So hopefully you had fun and maybe it opened your mind a little bit because I'm sure that there are some things that you have thought about either to yourself or maybe you never have that we have exposed you to to help increase your sexual potential. Right? Right. And um, you guys know me. Pussy Party president of the Pussy Party Podcast. Y'all can find me on the pussypartypodcast.com. And you know what will go along great with all these things? You said it earlier. Panty dropper. Yeah. So, you know, you definitely want to get your CBD infused stimulation serum. Um, and I, like I said, I'm like secret. Strong enough for the clit. But, I mean, strong enough for the dick, but made for the clit, right? And um, we're coming out with some more stuff. So go to pantydropperoil.com and um, put in the code free nude for 20% off. Oh, that's there you very go. Nice. Yeah. Free nude. I mm -hmm. like it. Panty dropper. Yeah. Yes. Pantydropperoil.com. <laughs> so thank you guys again. Thank you for playing with me. Oh, Always yeah. a blast. Yeah. And um, bye. I'm about to go play with this. <laughs>